What is it? I'm in a hurry. Do you switch off the engine and step out of the car, please, sir? Have you actually been drinking this lunchtime, sir? Well, I've had a couple. Look, I've just left your superintendent. Really? Well, I'll pass on you the guards. What are you doing? Well, could I just ask you to blow into here, sir? One continuous breath in the tub. Do you know who I am? Be the man who's about to blow my little box, sir. Leonard Harris on line three. He says it's urgent. <clears throat> Tell him I've gone out with you, Marilyn. Yes, sir. As far as I can make out, she was seeing him at least once a fortnight, possibly more. Well, that's it then. It's the old man. He's definitely in Manchester. So she says. You've done brilliant, Jane. Well done. Gov, I just pulled in quick, mate, for an ID. Do you want to come down? Jane just got a result. <laughs> oh? Healy's father's in Manchester. Laura Mason told you that, did she? And I guess better. She saw him on the afternoon she was killed. Right. OK, let's find him. I'd, uh, better go and see quick, mate, through, hadn't I? OK. Right, I want his description given to every bobby in the city. Troll the pubs and clubs. Just take your time, Miss Mortimer. There's no need to rush. Are they allowed to speak? <clears throat> what exactly would you like them to say? No one move, or I'll blow the wrinkles head off. Uh, can they say, no one move, or I'll blow the Wrinkley's head off? No one move, or I'll blow the Wrinkley's head off. No one move, or I'll blow the Wrinkley's head off. No one move, or I'll blow the Wrinkley's head off. No one move, or I'll blow the Wrinkley's head off. No one move, or I'll blow the Wrinkley's head off. No one move, or I'll blow the Wrinkley's head off. That's more Number five. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Number five, it's those eyes. Come on, Miss Morton, we'll get you a cup of tea, eh? Is that it? Yep, yeah, that's it. They're not fixed that late yet? I think it needs major re-plumbing work. All we've got is Norman and his monkey wrench. <laughs> Speak to you later. How are you doing, Terry? Fine. Mary said it was horrible. Apparently he was doing 70 in a 40 mile, isn't it? Hey, look. Heard you brought Nicky Reed in, Pete? Oh, don't remind me. I've got paperwork for days. Yes, Dobson called the doctors twice, a social worker, two solicitors, and a change of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been? I just brought a drink in driving. Tested it at 65. I didn't know you'd gone out again. You know me. Mr. Conscientious. Hey, Terry. Sergeant Mackey wants a word in her office. What for? She didn't say. You can't keep me here, man. The Rinkley didn't pick me out. You can't get away with this. I'm gonna do you for wrong for the rest. Dog abuse and mental anguish. Shut your mouth. Sit down. Right, the team have just got back from searching your flat and surprise, surprise, guess what they found at the bottom of your wardrobe? Red wig. Glasses. Two and a half grand. And this. Well, the wig and that, that's for like a fancy dress party. The dosh is my savings. I don't trust banks. And possession of a cucumber is not a crime. Yeah? What about this then? What's that? Eleven cheques made out of the bookies, found in amongst your cash. Uh, we done? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Once again, the great British public can sleep safely at night, content in the knowledge that yet another great criminal mastermind has been apprehended. Yeah. Do you want to see me, Sarge? Come on. Sit down. Um, 
Um, have I done something wrong? No. Just got a bit of over time for you, that's all. We've now got a positive ID on the man you and Mary pulled out of the car. His name is Jonathan Davis. That's his address. His wife's name is Pauline. I don't understand. I want you to go and see Mrs Davis. Me? No, you did bereavements in training, didn't you? Yeah, but I've never done a real one. Well, then now's your chance. Can someone else not go, Sarge? Don't you think it'd be easier for someone else? Look, Terry. If you really don't want to do this, no one's going to make you. But it's part of the job. Okay. I'll do it. <sighs> right, you can take car three. You don't think I put Ray's nose out of joint interviewing Laura again? No. Seem pretty sure. I don't like personalities getting in the way of the job. Ray knows that. You're quite hard on him, aren't you? How do you mean? I don't know. You just seem to like him to know who's boss. I like everyone to know who's boss. Yes, so. Right, I want to go through all the statements we've got from the people at the club again. See if anyone older or anybody fitting Jeff Morrison's description pops up anywhere. It's a lot of statements. Could be a late night. Sorry, I suppose you've got a husband waiting. Yes and no. I have got a husband. And he is waiting, but not for me to come home. Well, not exactly. We're separated. You made that more complicated than you needed to be. <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't I? What about you? Me? No. I'm still looking for the perfect woman. Oh, please don't do one of those horrible jokes about a woman who turns into a six-pack or whatever it is. I think you'll be mixing with the wrong people. I think I have. <laughs> oh, yeah. look at you. <laughs> so, uh, where'd you fancy going then? Don't mind. Well, right, then. Night, Pete. Nice night, Pete. Night, Pete. Yeah, night, Pete. Anyone else wants to one, then? Sorry, Carl. How's the mother-in-law tonight? Uh, I'm going out for a kip. I've got a hot date. Sorry. I'll come. I mean, I would come if I didn't have something else planned, which I have, so I can't. Right, then. Just you and me. <laughs> come on. See ya. See ya. What the hell are these kids doing in the nightclub being mauled by men ten years older than them? Kids grow up fast these days. OK, Laura and Haley, I can just about understand. It's the men I can't get my head around. It's Morgan, the one that picked up Laura. Well, maybe you didn't realise how young she was. You said it would have made a difference if he had. Maybe. You don't believe that any more than I do. I thought you were going to phone me. I said I'd call you later. What time? I don't know. I'm, I'm in a meeting. As soon as I can. Promise? Yes. Trouble? 